Jeep people are just built different. And I say that with nothing but good things behind it. It's Kyle, Brian, and Sarah on Mix 101.5. Jeep people, as you know, have ducks in their DoorDash. This is a thing with Jeep owners. In their well, DoorDash? And the, the Jeep system. Is that what I just said? Uh, well, the door, door, well, I'm That's famous. hilarious. Did Brian he really is, just that's say hilarious. DoorDash? Yeah. Brian has ordered so much DoorDash. I say DoorDash. I don't even realize ah. I'm saying it. <laughs> And Sorry, I know and they because, say dashboard. Yeah, yeah they're dashboard. And they're, of right, course. that makes sense. Yeah, that's but I hilarious. Think Jeeps are just fun in general. Like I have a Jeep, and on the windshield, in the middle of the windshield on the bottom, is a tiny little hill with a tiny little Jeep on the bottom that was put there by the company. So it just makes sense. That people who buy the Jeep are also very fun. So, I wonder if Jeep people consider you, Sarah, a Jeep person, because it's like you have a Jeep, but it's not really a Jeep. I don't have a Wrangler, but I still own a Jeep. Yeah, but it's like a Jeep mom car. Well, you know what. You Shoe fits. Ha- yeah. So so with that, I say that because typically it's the ducks and the DoorDash, as I said. That's so funny. That Brian's is funny. Brian's ordered, ordered so much DoorDash the last two years. I'm just saying that, not even realizing You say it. him. You too. Um, but exactly. Um, <laughs> that's but, right. But this time of the year, it's get out of here, ducks, and hello to the skeletons. I swear it's only G people that do this because- in a, anytime I see a skeleton on the front of something, you know, that's true. it is a Jeep. If I see a skeleton riding shotgun in a car, it's always a Jeep for whatever reason. That's just what I see. And I saw one on Capitol Boulevard yesterday. And I'm like, yep. Jeep. Yes. Uh, skeleton season is in full effect. If you are that person that decorates your car, it doesn't have to just be a Jeep person with skeletons riding shotgun or in the back seat no, on the hood. No, no, no. Like bonus points yes. if you're, you have a dark sense of humor and you do something like uh, put a wig in the trunk. We like have heard like about that before. Oh, yeah, that's, I love so that. So if you're somebody that decorates your car this time of the year, please let us know. Uh, like I said, I saw a blue Jeep yesterday, of course, with a skeleton right in the front. All right, with that, we got Amber with us. Amber, uh, what is on your car right now as we speak to you? I have Bonesy with me. <laughs> now, Bonesy, is he your pet? Who is Bonesy is in your, your car? Is that your child? <laughs> Bonesy is my two-headed skeleton that rides on my radio antenna every yeah. October. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That's hilarious. Good. He's fantastic. It's always funny to see people's reactions when I'm driving down the road and they glance over and then they're, they do a double take and they're like, what? Oh, Bonesy holding on for dear life every single day of the month of October. Has he ever fallen off our poor little Bonesy or Good does he question. hold on? He Good question. This is my fourth year going and he is still in one piece. Wait, how do you strap him down to the radio antenna? How does he stay there? I was there? wondering. Zip ties. Oh, the zip ties. Zip ties are... Yeah, I do one around his neck and then one around his hip bones. All right, Amber, <laughs> you and Bonesy have a great day. You guys, too. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye so Amber. Fun. Mm-hmm. I'm, maybe I should add a skeleton to the top of my Chrysler Pacifica. Yeah. And maybe we should both do it. You know, you got a white Chrysler Pacifica. I have one, of course, the last three years. Maybe we can be not just the Pacifica brothers, but the skeleton brothers. Something along those lines. I don't and know you're what also that. Thunder buddy. Yeah, I don't know and... what that looks like, but I'm just saying, you know, we roll up to our parking lot here in a couple of days with our Chrysler Pacifica minivans with skeletons on the front or the back. I mean, we got Kyle, all the stone go storage, I was man. Say, you and I have the power of stone go. We can go bigger than just throwing a little skeleton. We can out. fit like eight we skeletons. We have room for bodies, man. We can <laughs> really know. get crazy. We can fit uh, ten skeletons in our Chrysler Pacifica minivans. Let's, if we're gonna do it, let's let's do it. Our other Pacifica drivers out there know. They know know. what we're talking about. They know. They see us right now. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like you don't even know I exist because I don't have a Pacifica. (laughs) Honestly, I didn't even know you were still there until you started talking. I could hear your voice in my ears. All right, 832. It's Kyle, Brian, and Sarah on Mix 101.5.